Hello everybody, this is Robbie from Audifier. In this video we are going to take a look at snapshots, how to deal with them within contact. As you know already, when you first load Sequitor, you will be presented with the initial snapshot. If you don't see this, it means that contact was in this kind of view in which you have all the MIDI parameters and everything. So just switch to this little camera icon and suddenly you're going to see the init snapshot. When you want to load a snapshot, just go to this menu and uh, go through all the folders that we have already created and just load any. When you are editing one of the factory patches, you are actually not saving all the parameters of effects, sound sources, options, this page you're just saving the phrases parameters to completely save everything you've done within this patch you have to save the snapshot to do so just click on this icon over here just give it a title like snapshot and save now you're gonna see the title has changed here you're gonna find it as one of the first one in alphabetical order, but as you can see, it's outside the folders that we created. That's because contact saves it in the actual snapshot folder in the main one, but we created all the other folders that are here, but you can do that too. So follow the instruction manual. Okay, let's see, we can just move this one. It shows the path of the snapshot. And that's where we're going to go now. At this point, you see the snapshot we created is outside any folder, but we can just create any new folder and call it my snapshots and put this one exactly inside them. Um, so get rid of this straight away. When I look for my snapshot, it's going to be inside this one. And you can see it disappeared from where it was before. So when I load again Sequitor the next time, let's open this so we can see file and I go to recent. There. I will still find it inside my snapshots because that's where we put it. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Bye.